So I showed you this uh, Logic Pro, but I didn't really talk about it. Um, and I came to the conclusion that it could be that <laughs> some of you have maybe never even seen a Logic Probe. Um, they do sell these today. Um, not Hewlett Packard, but um, other vendors um, do still sell these things. Um, and uh, they are quite handy. I mean, I kind of forgot. I, everybody's kind of quick to grab an oscilloscope if you have one. Um, but uh, you can get a lot of information with one of these things. So let me talk a little bit about logic probes and I'll show you another um, setup. Um, uh, this is one of the nicer ones, I believe. Um, there's probably some nice ones today too, but the, the HP made this one back in the old days. They made an older version, which I'll show you in a second, um, but this is the newer version. This is the 545A. Um, I think it's the best one. Uh, so you can find one of these, get one of these. The old one, older one is fine too, but this one seems to be nicer. Um, f first of all, it has a really, really nice cable relief. Um, people should take note. Uh, this is what a cable relief should look like. Um, the only problem with these things is this, this is needle tip. That you, it's always driving in the, you drop this thing, it'll drive right into your leg. <laughs> it's like a, anyway, hurts. Um, so the way these things work is uh, they have uh, threshold settings for voltage, and if it's if it's more than the threshold, it'll it'll light high. Um, let's see if we can do that here, uh, so you can see it go from a kind of a a medium state to a to a bright uh, to a brighter state. Okay, and then if you uh, find a ground somewhere, it goes off. So it'll tell you if it's high or low or tri-stated and you can set the threshold levels here with the switch either TTL threshold levels or CMOS threshold levels um, and then there's this nice little thing here at the end which is a pulse grabber so if you probe your circuit and uh, the circuit is toggling you'll get a you'll get a flashy signal here um, here we don't get any flashy signal at all but if we hit the reset switch you can see that it did change, and uh, although we can see that here, maybe it happens too quick, or we, we we didn't we weren't watching closely. What we can do here, um, let me move up a bit. So this light here, you you can press, and that light goes out. And then if you if it sees a pulse, I'm going to hit the reset switch here. If it sees the pulse, it'll light up and it'll hold that pulse, so it's a latch, so it's a, like a set reset latch, and then you can push it again to clear it. So that's a really nice feature for 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 things. Um, it's not really much else to talk about. Um, like I say, it's I, I kind of found my tri-state problem here. I have a pin that I believe should be driven high or low, and it doesn't show here. So obviously that pin is floating and. Um, and I, I don't know I don't know why yet, um, but uh, th these are pretty nice. Uh, this has also has a ground connection here. You can put a there was an accessory that you could put a little ground lead uh, if you, you need to make the ground loop shorter. This has a very long ground loop because it has a long wire. Um, like I said, when they were when they were new, they had a funny little clip lead. So I think they were garbage. Um, and so I soldered on some uh, mini mini hooks uh, that, that are that are better. Um, it's nice to have the cap on it so you don't jab yourself in the leg. Like I said, let's take a look at a let's like take a look at a, another set here. Um, let me get rid of this for a second. So this this I have the entire kit. Um, they also came in a kit. Uh, this one is the 5015T Logic Troubleshooting Kit. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, this uh, I just stole. <laughs> it was my Logic Probe for years and years and years, and it just stayed with me. And when I retired from the company, I just took it with me. Um, this one here I found in a trash can, so this was up for grabs. <clears throat> Oops. So inside this one are... Uh, Two what look like two logic probes and some other things, um, but actually uh, there is a, a logic probe. This is the older version. This is the 10525T, and this is a logic pulser. So this is for inserting signals. This is for measuring signals. Uh, let's take a look at the logic probe. 
Uh, it comes with not so nice of a cap, but it does come with a cap. Um, it, uh, let me zoom in here on this. It, uh, doesn't have anything on it. There's no buttons, there's no nothings. All it has is a ring light on it. So, uh, this is not adjustable for TTL, uh, CMOS. This was TTL only. Uh, there's no pulse grabber. Um, it's just, uh, high or low. Um, and so that's why it's not as nice. So if you can find one of those other ones, they're better. Uh, this particular uh, device here it looks kind of the same, um, except it has a switch on it. Uh, not much detail. To, uh, it's just functional. It just has a micro switch sticking out. You push the button. Um, and this one, you can touch it to a circuit, and when you press the button, it in inserts a pulse. Uh, so if uh, you're trying to figure out whether a gate is working, uh, you can put this on the output of the gate and this on the input of the gate and pulse it and see make sure that it make sure that it goes through um, the uh, power connections on these is just a B and C on the end which is probably better than the other thing um, and it comes with little uh, clip leads um, so okay I, I still like the mini grabbers because these are kind of hard these big Alligator clips are hard to put on modern circuits, but um, and then the other thing that came with this uh, kit was this um, clip clip here. Um, let's see if we can get that to work. It has a, it has a bunch of LEDs, and you clip this on an IC, and um, we should put maybe be able to clip it onto the PAL here. Yeah, let's see if we can clip it onto the PAL and see if it does anything. Let's uh, let's hook up power again. And I think this thing's smart enough to take power and ground from anywhere it finds it. Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's going too fast to see anything. Um, so this is built a long time ago, and LEDs were very, very, very dim. Uh, but it did... Uh, oh, there we go. I guess we could use it for this... Uh, for this Max 232 chip. Oh, dear. Did I just... Get it on straight. That works on this one here. Ah, so they aren't the easiest things to use. They're probably there. We go. They're probably better when it's not in a socket. Um, hopefully, you can see that those are lit up a little bit. And if we push the button, nothing happens, of course. Let's try to put it back on the gal device. Wow, this is really hard. There we go. There's some. Things on the gal device, and let's uh, hit reset. Oh yeah, if you could see that, we had one little thing move. So <laughs> these LEDs are so dim. That's the way they were back in the day. Uh, just couldn't build bright ones yet. Um, seven volts maximum. This is a 10528A logic clip. Um, I never ever used these when I was an engineer. Um, they just weren't very valuable. They were really cute. They were kind of fun. I just didn't find them very valuable. Um, I used Logic Pro compulsors all the time, uh, so they were valuable. Uh, let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at the, look at the man. Turn the power off. This thing's not shorted out. Look at the manuals of these things. Um, let's see here. Logic probe. Oh, here's all the options you get. Whoa. Oh, you get an external pulse memory. You get option 006. So that's that thing they added to the other one. Uh, this could capture a pulse. Uh, they did have a option for that. Uh, they had some grounds and stuff that you could add. Right angle attachment. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, so it talks about uh, the threshold levels um, and 
and uh, 10 nanoseconds single pulse throw catch. Uh, Uh, how to test it, make sure it works correctly. And then, of course, the circuit diagram. Wow. Uh, so we have the signal coming in, and there's a logic threshold for a 1 and a logic threshold for a 0. And then it goes into a set, reset, flip flop, and turns on and off an, an incandescent light. <laughs> so that's what there is to it. Um, the other uh, logic probe, uh, I looked at the schematic for that, and it's a custom IC. Um, there is no circuit diagram for that one, so that was held as a secret. The way that you open these is you unscrew the little tip, a little clear thing comes off. You can slide, these are aluminum uh, pieces here, and as far as we can zoom in. There we go. So uh, you can see the little wheat grain light bulb here. Um, wow, that's a big resistor. Uh, must be a protection resistor for the circuit. Here's the uh, custom, custom IC. Uh, custom analog IC. Uh, nothing on the back, just some traces. Uh, there's a pretty big transistor there. Uh, there's a Zener diode. Uh, that's the voltage regulating. When you hook, it, hook this up to the circuit, it, it probably regulates the voltage. Um, another little transistor there. Two transistors there. So one, two, three transistors, an IC. Um, all through hole, of course. Made in the USA. Uh, there's a little switch down here. Of course, all gold gold plated circuit boards. That's the only thing they knew how to do back then. <laughs> they 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 really love their gold plated circuit boards. So very nice construction. Um, there was one other um, device that uh, I I liked. Um, uh, they're ex they're hard to find and they're expensive even when you find them. And they were a current tracer. They, they were the same shape, the same size, and they had a little sensor at the tip that was a wound inductor. And you could hold that on a PC board trace, and if there was current flowing in the trace, it would pick that up. And you could use it to sniff currents in the circuit and uh, find shorts. Um, and, uh, yeah. The last time I looked, uh, they were selling for like $250 on eBay, used, you know, kind of thing. Um, I think you can get these old Logic Probes really cheap on eBay. Uh, these ones, I can, these uh, 545As are kind of hard, a little bit rarer to find, but uh, like I said, I think they're much nicer. Okay, here's the uh, old uh, Logic Probe, and you can see uh, uh, the... I think the red is nicer. I don't know. This is fine, I guess. Uh, looks like it might have multiple lights, or maybe just, that's just the molding in the plastic. That's probably just the molding in the plastic. Probably just one light bulb. But uh, there you go. It's just a white light. Uh, but it uh, does basically the same thing. <laughs>